Welcome, in front of me I have MA's Fit Pip 6 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the Zap application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue and we can open the Zap application uh, on the phone that is paired with our watch. Actually, I forgot one thing to mention before we open the app. We need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the notifications to be sent to our uh, watch. So to do that, we need to open the settings on our iPhone. So find the settings icon and tap on it. And here tap on Bluetooth. And then you should see your MS Fit Bip 6 on the list of my devices. Tap on the info icon next to it. And here you should see this option, share system notifications. And this option needs to be enabled for the notifications to work. If you're missing this option, because it's possible you're missing it, you need to close the settings and now you can open the Zep application. Uh, tap on device. Wait until the watch is done connecting with your phone. And once it's done connecting with your phone, it pos it's possible you will see some pop-ups about the notification permissions. But if you don't see them, tap on the notifications and reminders, tap on notifications, and turn on the notifications if they're disabled. And once you turn on the notifications, you should see the pop-ups about the notifications. And what you need to do is to allow all of them. And once you allow them, uh, you will see the option there. So if you go to Bluetooth, uh, info icon, the option will be here. And make sure it is enabled, and then you can go back to the Zep application. Device, notifications and reminders, and notifications. Here, make sure that the notifications are enabled. We have incoming SMS, incoming email, and phone apps. You can enable them or disable them by tapping on the switch. And once you enable the phone apps, you will see the list of applications on your iPhone. As you can see, the list is a bit limited, but I believe each time you receive the notification from some application, it will appear right here on the list. The list basically will fill in with the apps once you receive the notifications from them. Um, right now, I care about Discord only because I want to test it with Discord, but uh, how it works is basically if you enable the notifications for, let's say, Discord, and you receive the notification from Discord on your iPhone, that notification will be also forwarded to your watch. If you disable it, it won't be forwarded to your watch, you will see it only on your iPhone. Okay, so the notifications are enabled, should be working, we're gonna test it. For some reason we didn't get the notification from Discord, it's possible I'm not logged in. Yeah, okay, so let me log in into a Discord quickly. Okay, now we are logged in, and now it should be working. So I'm gonna send myself another message. And this time it popped on our iPhone, and if you wake up the screen on your watch, it should be also on your watch, which, it's wor which means it's working, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the uh, iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video. Thank you.